Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Zenith Pilot Type 20 Annual Calendar. You can see this Montre d'Aronef Annual Calendar High Beat Chronograph in rose gold and titanium on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this two-tone annual calendar. Now, of course, the watch cuts an incredibly striking figure on the wrist. It's an alternative to both Panerai and IWC in that sense. This is an antidote to the Big Pilot for those who perhaps want a little bit more of a vintage aesthetic. If the Big Pilot is all about the 1940s, then the Type 20 you see here is all about the first quarter of the 20th century and aviation during that classical period. It's no coincidence that the watch has the image of Louis Blerio's 1909 trans-channel monoplane on the case back. Of course, Blerio, a Zenith customer back in the day, and arguably one of the very first horologically driven aviators. Now this watch features a broad case of 48 millimeters across the round. It's not as huge as the original 2011 Montre d'Aronef. That watch at almost 58 millimeters was virtually a cockpit instrument. This one is wearable, and you can see even on my smaller wrist, 48 across the round of the case, the lug-to-lug -lug dimension of this watch is a surprisingly compact 57 and a half. Now that's not small by any means, but it doesn't wear as large as the IWC Big Pilot of the same size. I could wear this watch with no worry about it moving around on my wrist. As long as you're okay with the oversized look, you're gonna be okay with the fit and security of this watch. And I'd even say down to 15 centimeters, you could wear this watch just as effective as I'm wearing the watch on my wrist here. Now, in terms of thickness, it's not as thick as you'd imagine, but it's not slim. 16 millimeters, this one probably won't slide underneath any kind of cuff or sleeve, but it's spectacular, so you wouldn't want it to. It doesn't weigh too much, all things considered. With the rose gold additions and the solid case back, you may suspect that it would be a boat anchor rather than an aviation-inspired instrument, but in fact, it's fairly light. It doesn't create any pressure points or hot spots, and this highly stylized case back is in no way uncomfortable. Now, although it is an aviation inspired watch, it does boast 100 meter water resistance. So for flight activities, you're going to enjoy this incredibly thick alligator leather strap with contrasting stitch and sheer sides. But if you were to put it on textile, you would be ready to go for fun in the surf, a seaplane pilot's watch, so to speak. Now on the underside, you can see the watch has a rubberized coating for suplex against the skin, but also to isolate the leather from oils, sweat, grit, or moisture on hot days and extend the service life of the strap. There's a highly stylized, dare I say, Panerai inspired trapezoidal pin buckle with the Zenith Guiding Star. The watch is handsome, distinctive, and redolent of Zenith heritage on the outside and the inside. Underneath that fantastic case back image in titanium is the El Primero caliber 4054, 39 jewels, well over 300 parts, of which nine comprise the Ludwig Oxlin designed annual calendar. A remarkable feat of complexity and simplicity at the same time. It stems from the mind of the same man who envisioned the Ulysse Norden trilogy of time, the Sonata, the Freak, and of course the GMT plus minus with Ludwig Perpetual Module. So the watch has pedigree both in its high beat El Primero base caliber and in its annual calendar complication. Now the base caliber is automatic winding high beat 10 beats per second versus the industry standard 8. It features a superb 52 hour power reserve, a lot more than the 40 to 42 that's the industry norm, and of course it features a crown actuated system of annual calendar display. There is the day, there is the month, there is the date, and all of these functions are actuated through the crown, so there are no case size pusher adjusters to mar the water resistance or the lines of the timepiece. Now of course, being an El Primero, it has the ties back to the very first high beat integrated automatic caliber developed in the chronograph space by Zenith in 1969, and having the pedigree of Ludwig Oxlund's engineering on top, you're getting a lot with this watch, and that's without even mentioning Zenith's heritage of aviation timepieces. For the first half of the 20th century, Zenith was a prominent manufacturer of aviation instruments, not only for the wrist, as in the case of Blerio, but often for the flight deck dashboard itself, as many in-dash 
cockpit instruments were built by Zenith during this period. Now this one is beautiful, easy to read in any light. The white on black is a fantastic contrast, accentuated by the appearance of the watch at night when it glows like an absolute torch. Gorgeous cathedral style hands, true to history, bear super luminova at center, and they feature a gorgeous rose gold tone. Again, for beautiful contrast, but also for consonance with the trim of the bezel, the crown, and the lugs. And of course, in vintage style, vintage aviation watches inspiring this timepiece, individual numbering on the flank of the case. This is a handsome, versatile, and extraordinary complication. A column wheel chronograph with a high beat movement, automatic winding with an annual calendar by Ludwig Oxlin, and strong ties to Zenith's early aviation timepieces. You can see and you can purchase this Zenith Type 20 automatic annual calendar chronograph on our website.